Here's 50 a piece. Don't get lost. Gabri, don't touch that money. Johnny. Rhoda, one of the greatest American sitcoms, starred Valerie Harper as the lead character. The show, which aired for five seasons and 110 episodes, depicted a woman navigating modern life's complexities. Despite its promising start, viewership declined in later episodes. In this script, we will explore the reasons behind the show's decline, starting from the very beginning. Rhoda, a popular television series that aired from September 9, 1974 to December 9, 1978, was created by James L. Brooks and Alan Burns and broadcast on CBS. The show's main character was Rhoda Morgan Stern, played by Valerie Harper. Rhoda was first introduced to audiences as a character on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. The series followed Rhoda's life as a single woman living in New York City. Throughout the show's four seasons, viewers watched as Rhoda navigated various relationships, both romantic and platonic, and dealt with personal and professional challenges. Rhoda's character was known for her sharp wit and self-deprecating humor. She was a relatable and realistic character, struggling with many of the same issues that viewers faced in their own lives. Valerie Harper's portrayal of Rhoda was widely praised, and she received four Emmy Awards for her performance. The show itself was also successful, earning several Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. Rhoda's impact on popular culture is still felt today. The show was groundbreaking in its portrayal of a single, independent woman, and it paved the way for future shows with strong female leads. In conclusion, Rhoda was a beloved television series that captured the hearts of audiences with its relatable main character and engaging storylines. Valerie Harper's portrayal of Rhoda Morgan Stern was a defining moment in her career and left a lasting impact on the world of television. Rhoda, a popular character from the Mary Tyler Moore Show, gained such a large following that audiences were eager to see more of her. This led to the creation of a successful spin-off series, Rhoda, which premiered in 1974 and focused on the character's life in Manhattan. Unlike many traditional shows from the 1950s and 1960s, Rhoda offered a fresh perspective, showcasing the life of a single, working woman navigating the complexities of urban living. The series was well received and ran for five seasons, with Rhoda's relatable struggles and triumphs striking a chord with viewers. The show's setting in Manhattan provided a stark contrast to the more suburban and traditional settings of many contemporary series. Rhoda's experiences in the city were a reflection of the changing times and the growing independence and empowerment of women during the 1970s. Throughout its run, Rhoda tackled a variety of issues and themes, from career and relationships to self-discovery and personal growth. The character's journey was one of resilience and determination, inspiring many viewers and leaving a lasting impact on popular culture. In conclusion, Rhoda was a groundbreaking and successful spin-off series that offered a fresh and relatable perspective on the life of a single, working woman in Manhattan. The show's focus on real-world issues and themes, as well as its contrast to more traditional series from the past, helped it to stand out and resonate with audiences. Could get interested in before he sees Ida. In three days. You expect the man to build a relationship with a woman in three days? Valerie Harper gained fame for her portrayal of Rhoda in the popular 1970s TV series. The show was a hit when it first aired, but its popularity waned in later seasons. In one notable storyline, Rhoda moves back to New York after leaving Minneapolis. Once in New York, Rhoda meets Joe Girard, a divorced man with a 10-year-old son. Their relationship becomes a significant focus of the show as the characters navigate the challenges of dating and parenting. Despite the show's initial success, its decline in later seasons may have been due to changes in the storyline or character development. Nonetheless, the show remains a fond memory for many fans, and Valerie Harper's performance as Rhoda is still celebrated today. The relationship between Rhoda and Joe added a new dimension to the show, providing audiences with a fresh perspective on love, family, and the complexities of modern life. Okay, I wonder where the old dessert 
train is. Oh, no problem, no problem. I'll call Central Station. Maybe they ran out of... The pilot episode of Rhoda, titled Joe, was broadcast on September 9, 1974, and made television history as the first pilot episode to reach the number one spot on the Nielsen ratings. This sitcom is a spin-off of the Mary Tyler Moore Show and follows the life of Rhoda Morgan Stern, played by Valerie Harper, after she moves back to New York City following the end of her marriage. In the beginning, Rhoda decides to move in with her parents, Martin and Ida Morgan Stern, who live in a cozy home in New York City. This living situation allows her to reconnect with her family and save some money while figuring out her next steps. However, as the series progresses, Rhoda realizes that she needs to become independent again and find her own place to live. Rhoda's decision to move out and live on her own is a significant turning point in the series. It showcases her determination to take control of her life and establish her own identity separate from her family. This theme of independence and self-discovery is a recurring one throughout the series and is something that many viewers can relate to. Overall, the pilot episode of Rhoda sets the stage for a compelling series that explores the ups and downs of a woman's journey towards independence and self-discovery. The decision to have Rhoda move in with her parents and then move out again is a clever way to showcase her character's growth and development, making it a must-watch for fans of classic television. Friends in my life, getting a nose. Brenda, wait a minute, you're not talking about a nose job. Yeah. In the 1974 TV series Rhoda, the relationship between the titular character, Rhoda Morgan Stern, and her boyfriend, Joe Girard, progressed significantly. Their romance culminated in a highly anticipated wedding episode, which aired on October 28, 1974. The wedding episode quickly became one of the most popular TV episodes in American history, drawing an impressive audience of over 52 million viewers. This remarkable viewership number is a testament to the show's widespread appeal and the interest in Rhoda and Joe's relationship. In this memorable episode, viewers watched as Rhoda and Joe exchanged vows in a heartfelt ceremony, surrounded by their friend and family. The wedding marked a significant milestone in the couple's relationship and provided a satisfying conclusion to the romantic storyline that had been building throughout the series. The popularity of the wedding episode is a reflection of the cultural significance of marriage and the enduring appeal of romantic storylines in television. The large audience that tuned in to watch the episode is a testament to the show's ability to resonate with viewers and create a sense of excitement and anticipation around major events in its characters' lives. Overall, the wedding episode of Rhoda is a memorable moment in television history, both for its impressive viewership and for its depiction of a significant milestone in the lives of its beloved characters. <laughs> Daddy and I want you to just relax. Hey, uh, this is great. Not too many people uh, appreciate how... In the third season of Rhoda, the show experienced a decline in popularity due to the separation of the main characters, Rhoda and Joe. Fans of the series were unhappy with this development and expressed their discontent through angry letters sent to CBS. The displeasure of the audience was so significant that it affected the show's ratings. The fourth season saw further changes when Rhoda and Joe officially divorced. Following the divorce, Rhoda went back to using her maiden name and started looking for a new job. These changes were an attempt to revitalize the show and win back the disgruntled audience. However, the damage had already been done and the show's ratings never fully recovered. Despite the efforts to keep the show fresh and engaging, the separation and divorce of the main characters proved to be too much for the audience to accept. The once popular series struggled to find its footing and eventually ended after five seasons. The decline in the show's popularity and the negative reaction from the audience serve as a reminder of the importance of maintaining the core elements that make a show successful. The fourth season of Rhoda saw continued success, although it didn't quite match the heights of the show's earlier years. The storyline and characters remained engaging, but the initial buzz had faded somewhat. As the series moved into its fifth season, efforts were made to revive the show's former glory. However, these attempts were ultimately unsuccessful and Rhoda was cancelled. Despite the decline in later seasons, the show's first two seasons remained popular sitcoms, cherished by many for their wit and relatability.
Throughout its run, Rhoda featured strong performances and memorable storylines, leaving a lasting impact on the television landscape. The show's legacy continues to be celebrated, with its early seasons regarded as a high point in the history of American television. The character of Rhoda Morgan Stern, brought to life by actress Valerie Harper, resonated with audiences and became an enduring symbol of strength and resilience. The show's ability to tackle real-life issues with humor and heart remains a testament to its enduring appeal. In the end, Rhoda may not have maintained its initial success, but its impact on the world of television is undeniable. The show's legacy continues to inspire and entertain, leaving a lasting mark on the cultural landscape. You through? Let's go. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. you cannot do that. You... Valerie Harper, the talented actress who brought the character of Rhoda to life, passed away in 2019. This unfortunate event brought renewed interest in the groundbreaking sitcom Rhoda, which originally aired from 1974 to 1978. The show, a spin-off of the Mary Tyler Moore show, followed the life of Rhoda Morgan Stern, a young woman navigating her way through love, career, and life in New York City. Rhoda was a significant character in the world of television, as she was one of the first complex, independent, and relatable female leads. She was a far cry from the traditional homemakers and love interests that dominated the small screen at the time. Rhoda's struggles, successes, and relationships resonated with audiences, making her a beloved character and paving the way for future TV actresses. The impact of Rhoda and Valerie Harper's portrayal of the character continues to be felt today. The show remains popular among fans who can watch reruns or stream episodes on various platforms. This continued popularity is a testament to the enduring appeal of the character and the show's groundbreaking approach to storytelling. In conclusion, Valerie Harper's Rhoda left an indelible mark on television history. The character's relatability, complexity, and strength continue to inspire and entertain audiences, making Rhoda a classic sitcom that remains popular to this day. You can't lift that thing. You'll kill yourself. I'm not gonna lift it, I'll get a furniture though. The television show, Rhoda, is widely regarded as a groundbreaking series that laid the foundation for many subsequent shows. Before the advent of Friends and Seinfeld, Rhoda depicted the lives of single individuals living in New York City with a notable emphasis on Jewish American culture, portrayed in a positive and relatable manner. The chemistry among the cast members, particularly Valerie Harper, Julie Kavner, and Nancy Walker, is exemplary and remains one of the highlights of television history. Their interactions provided a natural and engaging dynamic that significantly contributed to the show's success. The humor in Rhoda was consistently effective, often employing self-deprecation as a tool to enhance both the comedic and humane aspects of the show. This approach allowed for a portrayal of characters that were both funny and deeply relatable. Valerie Harper's and Julie Kavner's performances are particularly noteworthy, with Kavner later achieving fame as the voice of Marge Simpson in The Simpsons. Their contributions to Rhoda exemplify high standards in television acting and production. The show itself is recognized for frequently breaking traditional sitcom premises while maintaining its humor and quality, making it a pioneering work in the genre. Overall, Rhoda stands out as a significant and influential television show, remembered for its positive cultural representation, strong character dynamics, and innovative comedic techniques.
never been so happy to see Baltimore. The casting process for the 1974 TV series Rhoda was a careful selection of talents to bring depth and chemistry to the story. Valerie Harper, who played the title role, was already part of the cast of the Mary Tyler Moore show and had proven her comedic skills. The character of Joe Girard, Rhoda's love interest, was given to David Groh. He was chosen for his ability to balance humor and drama, which was essential for his character's development. Julie Kavner, who played Rhoda's sister Brenda, was selected for her knack for physical comedy and her strong vocal delivery. Nancy Walker, as Rhoda's mother Ida Morgenstern, was a natural fit due to her extensive background in comedy and her ability to create a memorable and relatable character. The casting directors looked for actors who could not only act, but also bring a sense of authenticity and chemistry to their roles. Auditions focused on finding actors who could convincingly portray the everyday struggles and triumphs of the show's characters. Chemistry tests were also crucial in the casting process. The cast members were often paired together in scenes to see how well they worked off each other. These tests helped the casting directors determine which actors had the right dynamic to bring the story to life. One pivotal moment in the casting process was the decision to cast Valerie Harper as Rhoda. Initially, the character was written as a one-time guest star, but Harper's performance was so well received that the producers decided to give her a spin-off series. In conclusion, the casting process for Rhoda was a thoughtful and deliberate process that focused on finding actors who could bring depth, humor, and authenticity to their roles. The resulting cast brought the show to life and helped make it a beloved classic. I'll just cancel dinner and uh, never see him again. <laughs> the directorial vision behind the 1974 TV series Rhoda was shaped by director John Rich, who brought a unique approach to the storytelling. Rich's style was characterized by his attention to detail and his ability to create a warm, inviting atmosphere on set. He was known for his collaborative approach, working closely with the cast and crew to ensure that everyone was on the same page. Rich's creative influences included classic Hollywood cinema and the work of directors like Frank Capra and George Stevens. He sought to bring a sense of realism and humanity to the characters and stories in Rhoda, and his approach was often described as naturalistic. To achieve this, Rich employed a number of techniques, such as using handheld cameras to create a more intimate feel and encouraging the actors to improvise and bring their own ideas to the scenes. He also worked closely with the show's writers to ensure that the scripts were tightly focused and that each episode had a clear narrative arc. Rich's collaboration with the cast and crew was also a key part of his directorial vision. He was known for his ability to create a positive and supportive working environment, and he encouraged the actors to take risks and push themselves creatively. He also worked closely with the show's production designers, cinematographers, and editors to ensure that every aspect of the show was carefully crafted and polished. Overall, Rich's directorial vision for Rhoda was marked by his commitment to creating a realistic, humanistic, and engaging television series. His approach was characterized by his attention to detail, his collaborative spirit, and his ability to bring out the best in his cast and crew. The production of the 1974 TV series Rhoda featured a variety of set designs and locations that added depth to the show's narrative. The titular character, Rhoda Morgenstern, lived in a brownstone apartment in New York City, which was a central location for the series. To create this setting, the production team built a detailed apartment set in a studio, complete with functioning appliances and furniture to give it a lived-in feel. In addition to the apartment set, the production also filmed on location in New York City to capture exterior shots and establish the series' urban setting. This required careful planning and coordination to ensure that the production team could film in various locations around the city while minimizing disruptions to traffic and local residents. One of the logistical challenges of filming Rhoda was the use of multiple cameras to capture each scene. This allowed the production team to capture different angles and shot simultaneously, reducing the time needed to film each episode. However, it also required careful choreography to ensure that the cameras did not appear in the shot and that the actors moved smoothly between takes. To facilitate this, the production team employed a number of innovative techniques and technologies. 
For example, they used a crab dolly, a type of camera dolly that moves sideways as well as forwards, and backwards to capture smooth tracking shots. They also used a fish pole, a long pole with a camera mounted on the end, to capture high angle shots and close ups. Another innovative technique used in the production of Roto was the use of video assist technology. This allowed the director and other production staff to watch a live feed of the scene being filmed and make adjustments in real time, improving the overall quality of the final product. Overall, the production of Rota was a complex undertaking that required careful planning, coordination, and the use of innovative techniques and technologies. The result was a beloved TV series that captured the spirit of New York City and the struggles and triumphs of its characters. of a musical score and soundtrack for a TV series like Rota, which originally aired in 1974, is a collaborative process between composers, musicians, and the production team. The music is designed to complement the narrative and emotional tone of the show, enhancing the viewer's experience. For Rota, the music was composed by Jack Alaco and Morton Stevens. Alaco, a veteran in the industry, has worked on numerous TV shows and films while Stevens is known for his work on Hawaii Five-O. The score, instrumental music specifically composed for the series, often subtly underscores emotional moments, providing depth and nuance. For instance, a melancholic theme might play during a sad scene, amplifying the character's feelings. The composers carefully choose each note and chord to match the scene's mood and pace. On the other hand, the soundtrack consists of pre-existing songs that are used in the series. These songs are often played during transitional scenes or to set the mood for a particular episode. For example, a lively song might play during a party scene or a romantic ballad during a love scene. The music in Rota was carefully selected to complement the show's comedic and dramatic elements. The composers and musicians worked closely with the show's creators to ensure the music aligned with the characters' emotions and the storyline's progression. In an interview, Alaco stated, the music is there to serve the story and the characters. It's not about showing off, it's about enhancing the viewer's experience. This sentiment is echoed by Stevens, who believed that the music should be felt, not heard. In conclusion, the creation of the musical score and soundtrack for Rhoda was a meticulous process involving careful selection of music and compositions that perfectly complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the series. Well. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go out alone. Atta girl. Hey, thank you, Carl. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1974 TV series Rhoda is from the episode Rhoda's Wedding where the titular character, played by Valerie Harper, steps off a bus in a bridal gown and famously says, Hi, I'm Rhoda. This moment, often regarded as one of the greatest moments in television history, was a result of careful direction, powerful performance, and clever cinematography. Director Bob Clark wanted to create a sense of intimacy and immediacy with the audience, so he chose to shoot the scene with a single handheld camera. This gave the audience the feeling that they were right there with Rhoda, experiencing her joy and vulnerability in real time. Harper's performance was equally crucial to the scene's success. She infused Rhoda with a relatable warmth and charm, making the character instantly endearing to audiences. Harper later recalled, that moment was so perfect. It was just me, the bus, the dress, in the street. It was a magical moment that I'll never forget. The impact of this scene on the audience cannot be overstated. It not only solidified Rhoda's place in television history, but also helped to break down barriers for complex, fully realized female characters on television. The scene resonated with audiences because it was a genuine, heartfelt moment that felt both authentic and relatable. Cinematographer Fred Jackman Jr. used a combination of natural light and a soft filter to give the scene a dreamy, romantic quality. The use of a handheld camera added to the sense of immediacy and helped to create a sense of intimacy between Rhoda and the audience. The high I'm Rhoda scene is a testament to the power of great direction, performance, and cinematography. It's a moment that has transcended time and continues to resonate with audiences today serving as a reminder of the enduring appeal of complex, fully realized characters, and the importance of authenticity in storytelling. I think I got an idea that will uh, 
Released in 1974, the TV series Rhoda brought a fresh perspective to the sitcom genre, resonating with audiences through its relatable characters and realistic portrayal of everyday life. The show followed the life of Rhoda Morgan Stern, a young, single woman living in New York City, and explored themes such as love, friendship, and self-discovery. Rhoda's portrayal of a strong, independent woman was a departure from traditional gender roles and struck a chord with many female viewers. The characters' relatable struggles and triumphs helped to break down barriers and pave the way for more complex and nuanced female characters in television. The show also had a significant impact on pop culture, with Rhoda's unique sense of style and fashion becoming a major trend. Her iconic brown coat and floppy hat became a symbol of 1970s fashion and her bold and confident personality inspired a generation of women to embrace their individuality. Moreover, Rhoda contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes, such as the role of women in society and the challenges of urban living. The show tackled these issues with humor and sensitivity, making it a popular and influential force in the cultural landscape of the 1970s. In conclusion, Rhoda was a groundbreaking TV series that resonated with audiences, influenced pop culture, and contributed to important discussions on social and cultural themes. Its impact can still be felt today as it continues to inspire and influence new generations of viewers. The 1974 TV series Rhoda, a spin-off of the Mary Tyler Moore show, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. Valerie Harper's portrayal of Rhoda Morgan Stern was highly praised, with critics highlighting her comedic timing and relatability. The series was also recognized for its strong writing and realistic portrayal of female friendship. Notable reviews include John J. O'Connor of the New York Times, who described Harper's performance as a textbook study in comic timing, and the Washington Post Tom Shales, who called the show a winner and one of the best new comedies of the season. Audiences connected with the show, with many praising the realistic and relatable characters. Rhoda was also a rating success, consistently ranking in the top 10 shows during its run. The series received several award nominations and wins, including multiple Emmy Awards for Valerie Harper for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series, and a Golden Globe for Best Television Series Musical or Comedy. These accolades are significant as they highlight the high quality of the show and the exceptional talent of Valerie Harper. The awards and nominations also helped to establish Rhoda as a must-see TV series and solidified Harper's status as a leading actress in the industry. The positive reception and success of Rhoda also paved the way for future spin-off shows and helped to further the representation of complex and relatable female characters on television. Listen, we don't have hats, so everybody's gonna put on a mask, okay? I am not putting on a stupid mask. During the filming of Rhoda, the 1974 TV series spin-off of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, the cast and crew had many memorable experiences. Valerie Harper, who played the titular role, was known for her humor and kindness on set. In one instance, she brought her real-life husband to play her on-screen husband, much to the delight of the cast and crew. Julie Kavner, who played Rhoda's sister Brenda, was also a source of amusement. She would often improvise her lines, leading to some of the funniest moments in the series. In one episode, she had lived a line about a tuna nose that became an instant classic. Behind the scenes, the crew faced many challenges, including tight shooting schedules and last-minute script changes. However, they always managed to pull through, thanks to the leadership of producer James L. Brooks. He created a positive and collaborative atmosphere on set, which was reflected in the final product. One of the most iconic moments in the series was Rhoda's wedding episode, which was watched by over 50 million viewers. The cast and crew knew they were creating something special, and the energy on set was electric. The wedding dress that Valerie Harper wore in the episode was even featured in the Smithsonian Institution's collection. Despite the success of the series, it only lasted for four seasons. However, its impact was enduring, and it remains a beloved classic among fans of 70s television. The cast and crew look back on their time working on Rhoda with fondness and pride, knowing that they created something truly special. Boy, I'm glad we got away from that bar. I 
didn't like the way your friend kept trying to look down my blouse. It was the 1974 TV series Rhoda, a spin-off of the Mary Tyler Moore show, left a significant mark on television history. As one of the first shows to focus on a single working woman, it paved the way for future female-led sitcoms. Rhoda tackled relevant social issues of the time, such as divorce and family dynamics, which added depth to its characters and storylines. The series is particularly notable for Valerie Harper's groundbreaking portrayal of the title character, Rhoda Morgenstern. Her relatable, feisty, and vulnerable performance resonated with audiences, making Rhoda an iconic character. The show's writing, too, was innovative, with quick, witty dialogue that set a new standard for sitcoms. Rhoda also had a lasting impact on the film industry. Its success demonstrated the potential for strong, complex female leads, inspiring shows like Murphy Brown and Ally McBeal. The series' ability to balance humor with serious topics influenced future storytelling, showing that sitcoms could tackle real-life issues without sacrificing entertainment value. Moreover, Rhoda served as a stepping stone for many actors and writers in the industry, launching several successful careers. Its impact can still be felt today, as modern television continues to build upon the foundation laid by this influential series. And then the doors close. <laughs> If the 1974 TV series Rhoda had a special impact on you or your life, we'd love to hear about it. Share your memories and experiences related to this classic show in the comments below. How did it affect you personally or influence your perspective on television? Let's engage in a meaningful conversation about this beloved series. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Your involvement helps to create a vibrant community of classic TV fans. So, whether you were captivated by Rhoda's relatable character or found inspiration in the show's storylines, we want to hear from you. Join the conversation and share your thoughts with us today. It is because you are totally harmless, you know? <laughs> and that there's